Hello all, in this particular tutorial, I'll talk about how to set up Xming X11. The steps are pretty simple. You need to install these two packages, the Xorg X11 XAuth and Xterm. The Xterm package is optional. It is only for you to verify that X, X11 display forwarding is working. If you do not want to verify it, this particular package can be omitted. You don't need that particular package. The, there is a sshd config and that will be a variable called x11 forwarding if it is set to no change it to yes and once you change it to yes restart your ssh service for the the configuration to get effective if you do not if you do not restart even if you change the variable it will not be effective so change the variable x11 forwarding and restart the sshd service the you, you will download the xming from the uh from the uh sourceforge.net uh website it's a free open source application and you can safely use it it's it's trusted it's it's it does not have any vulnerabilities so you can safely use it in your environment once you download the software you have to launch the xmink at the putty level you will be you will be checking you will go to connection then ssh under ssh you will select x11 under x11 you will go to you will check this enable x11 forwarding and you will give the display location this display location is should be the same what you have configured in the xming which you will see in a minute you can use 0.0, .0 or any other port 10.0 7.0 so i'll show you i'll show you two different ports how they work so i'll show you 0.0, .0 as well as 7.0 once you connect to the session you will set a display variable so you need to set the display variable and this is the ip address of your local machine so you will use the ip address of your windows machine in this case and whatever port that you used here and the same port that you configured in the in the x ming the same port you will be using here that's all that's how it is now that you have understood you can try it but if you want to hang on to see it actually working you can so let me install those two packages first so i have already connected and what i'll do is i will install these two packages so let's install the x org 11 and looks like that is installed which is a good thing let's install the second package which is x term again this particular package is optional it is only for only for you to verify this is not required for x11 forwarding to work the next part is checking that in the in the etc ssh in the etc ssh there will be a file called sshd config check if the x11 forwarding is set to yes if it is not set to yes change it to yes and restart it if it is already set to yes you don't have to do anything and looks like it is set to yes there is a, this particular variable is set to no but it's a command so it won't take effect only this particular variable so you can get rid of this if you want to so x11 forwarding is set to yes so you don't need to restart shd service but if you if you if you wanted to if you uh if x11 forwarding was set to no you change it to yes and then you have to restart the service all good the next part is we are done with the root so let's now verify let's connect to let's go to putty and before launching the putty you can launch xming again xming can be launched at a later point in time so let's go to ssh x11 enable this give uh give whatever you want so i'll chase 7.0 i'll show you 0.0, .0 as well so let's use 7.0 and then go to session enter the ip or the server name which in my case is db1 logging to the user which you want to launch the xy xming so if it is oracle let's log into oracle the sudo doesn't work so make sure that you don't use the sudo you log in to that user directly for the xming to work the sudo doesn't work so now that we have done this let's set up the display variable and as i mentioned the this is the ip address of my windows machine so you can see this is my windows machine and if i launch this is this is my windows command prompt and if you see this is the 192.168.1.14 is the ip address of my windows machine which i'm using which i'm using here and the 7.0 the reason why i set the 7.0 is because my my in the putty or in the xming i'll be using this particular port now if i do x term if i do x term it won't work 
because I have not launched the xming as of now. So let's do that. So let's launch xconfig and okay. So the, okay. So we, I have not even installed xming. So let's try to install xming. So let's go to this particular location, download, wait for it. it's, it's let, let's let it get downloaded launch yes you can close the firefox click on next 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 all good and uncheck this click on finish go to xconfig i'll say seven click on next next no access control next finish you, you can see here if you can see and it automatically open because it was waiting for this display so as soon as the x-wing launched it got connected now that works fine so now for the oracle dbas this actually the test is completed but if you still want to see what you can do is like you can go to the run installer and let's see if the run installer is launching let's verify if oracle 21 c and you can see using the gui we are able to launch our oracle 21c database run install software so that's good now what i'll do is i will i will show you the i will show you that we can use the we can also use 0.0 .0. so let's do that so if i go to same ssh x11 enable x forwarding 0.0, .0 session and if i say db1 open at this time i will log in as root user password clear and here instead of using 7.0 i will say 0.0 and that's done now what i'll do i'll try to launch the db2 setup for my db2 friends and it's not launching so the reason why it's not launching is because i've used 0.0, .0 while my xming is running at 7.0 so let's do something let's go to xconfig once again click on zero next 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 finish and as soon as now i got two sessions one running at 7.0 one running at 0.0, .0 and now the db2 setup should run but if it is and you can see that the db2 setup has launched in the background so now i got one server running at 7.0 one server running at 0, 0.0 and i can use so this is still working so let me control c so clear and this is running at 7.0 and if i say run installer which is the oracle this is working fine and if i go to if i cancel the db2 setup so let me close this clear and launch this particular setup at 0, 0.0 and even this is working so i have the reason why the 0, 0.0 port is also working and 7.0 is also working because i got the xming running at 7.0 xming running at 0, 0.0 so now this particular session is going to the xming server of 0 this particular session is going to xming server of 7 and and whatever you need the most important part is the display variable you need to whatever variable so three places you need to make sure that you use the same so if you if you use 0, 0.0 in the putty in x ssh x11 you have to say 0, 0.0 the x ming should be running at port 0 and the display variable should be set to 0, 0.0 so there are three places where you need to be consistent any if you use a wrong value at any place then it's not going to work so that's how and i hope you were able now you are able to set up you will be after the watching this particular tutorial you will be able to set up the x ming in your server 
This was the short tutorial on how to set up Xming X11. I hope you learned something new. Thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial. Bye bye.